Okay, this tutorial is on creating a revolve in Creo, which gives you rounded cylindrical type objects. And so we're going to set our working directory first. We're going to go over here to computer. We're going to click on your H drive, go to the Creo folder you created, and we went ahead and created a revolves folder. Right click it and set working directory. Now we're going to go new. I'm going to call this R1. I'm going to start at the top left on your paper and work around uh, counterclockwise. So we're going to call this Revolve 1. And then click OK. Now, revolves need two things. They need a center line and a closed object. And so if you do that correctly, uh, it'll work out. Now, when you look at your paper, uh, there's an object and then there's a center line on the left side of the object. Go ahead and keep the center line and all the samples on the left side and then make sure you close the object as well. On the paper it's not closed. So we're going to go revolve. We're going to click on front like always and we're going to click sketch view. And then we're going to rough out what the shape looks like. So we're going to use our line tool. We're going to go like this and just kind of rough out roughly what the shape is going to look like. Now the only difference between uh, the shape on the screen and the shape on the paper is the fact that we're going to use this fourth line to close the object. That's a must. So middle click it and you can see it's shaded in or it's closed and we're going to update these numbers. We're going to make, uh, let's go ahead and do the height here first. Let's make this uh, 259.81 Okay, and then let's just pretend we didn't have some of these numbers. Now you see there's an angle here but it's not identified on your paper. We don't know what the angle is right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add dimensions. And to add a dimension, we're just going to go to Dimension Tool, click on the line, and then middle click outside. Middle click is the scroll wheel. Then update this to 75. Go to the bottom, and again, we're just going to assume there's no number here. So we're going to go to the Dimension Tool and click, and middle click. And it adds the number, and it's 225. And that is all the information you need, and it's correct. Now, don't click green check mark because you've not put a center line in yet. It looks like there's a center line here, but that's just a plane on the screen. It's not a center line. So we have to literally manually place a center line. So come up here to the top, center line, and we're going to put it on the left side and make it vertical. So you can see it's going to turn and place it right there. Now, when you green check mark it, it will spin the object around. And you see we've basically created, you know, this four-sided closed shape and we've spun it around the center line creating this you know, it looks like a rocket engine kind of. So once you've accepted it you have a three-dimensional solid model. Uh, I do want for this uh, these drawings, these six, them to be revolved a full 360 degrees around so I recognize them more easily and then go file save and it should save where you set your working directory as what you call the R1 and click OK and that's it. So you can go file close and then you can go new and start your next one.